Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3D Printer Vlog. This is your host Michael and today we are going to be working on the printer and we are going to be reattaching the H-bar and the actual extruder assembly. I need to actually uh, install it going up so I need to actually remove each one of these individual uh, top bearings here. Now the plan I have for this is I have some gaff tape and I'm going to try to use the actual bed as a jack more or less. The reason I'm doing this particular thing with the tape is to try to keep all the parts in uh, one section so they don't all fall apart on me when I go to disassemble each individual uh, wheel here. Get our screwdriver and go ahead and disassemble the side here. Oh, there we go. Neat. And I'm just going to stick the screw so I can keep everything together. There we go. Just comes out in one single unit. Okay, so now that I have the two wheels out of the way, I need to basically bring this H bar or horizontal bar back up. First, I'll need to loosen these uh, four Allen bolts holding these just enough to where they can, these can slide back and forth because it will need to compress a bit more and then expand in order to get to its proper uh, length. Now, I would recommend if you're going to install these LEDs like this, I would recommend doing that at the very last once you're for sure you want this horizontal bar right because as you can see, there's a little bit of conflict with the uh, horizontal bar along with the LED strips. I want to try to make sure these are squished in as much as possible. There we go. We got past one. Oh, there we go. At least I only ruined one try of the strip. There we go. At least it's a good snug hold. So a bit of a quick emergency repair. Thankfully, I was just using my hot glue gun a few minutes ago for a little modification for my camera. I'm just going to peel off any adhesive that's existing because that'll get in the way of a good proper seal with this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to reinstalling these. I'm gonna need to expose part of it, otherwise it's not gonna be able to, uh, I'm not gonna be able to get the tape off properly. And hopefully I can get this up, starting to come apart. <laughs> Gotta work quick. Well. One down, four to go. For attempt number two, since I don't have the tension completely out of whack to where it's super super tight i think i know how to do this with little to no error here get everything straightened out aha there we go you basically just have to kind of hold it together while you force the screw through and like i said get the top two screws tight as possible of course want to tension this bottom guy here get it relatively tight give our adjuster a bit of tension here so there we go this is nice and done so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick Okay, so I have this pretty much taken care of here. Just need to do a little bit of tuning, tighten these things up proper, tension them nice and good. Need to tighten these bolts back up. Can't forget that. Don't want them falling out while printing. All right, so we have everything back on and adjusted properly. Now I have to go ahead and install some belts. Got a good 10 meters of this stuff, so we should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, time lapse through this right now. Okay, so ran into a bit of a snag here. Unfortunately, whoever designed this model didn't have a whole lot of uh, forethought into the th process of getting these belts looped. And if you notice with the original model, there's a bit of like a bevel, a uh, fillet or chamfer, if you'll call it that, uh, on the corner there where it allows the belt to just kind of loop through and run through easily. However, with this, it's just a dead end. It's like a 90 degree angle. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to take these pulleys off and then reattach them as soon as the belt's in there. And uh, yeah, a bit of a pain, but eh, I'll, uh, I'll get this done. All right, folks, as you can see, the belts, they are back on and properly tensioned here. So a little bit tight, um, a lot of resistance, but I hopefully the uh, new stepper motor drivers over here will sort that out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install these onto the Rams electronics board. So I'm gonna go ahead and just replace all four of these. I have five to use to replace this here. I like to ever so gingerly use a pair of vice grips because if I break these, no big deal, because I'm not going to be using them. 
putting them in is a lot easier but yep you just use something like a pair of ice grips and just ever so gingerly you probably want to grip on the plastic more than the circuit board try not to touch any other neighboring components of course there's probably a better way to do this but eh, this works I don't have any other specialty chip puller tools. I don't know if you'll be able to note that the camera will pick it up properly, but there is like little uh, wording or little diagram in here. I need to make sure these match and I need to make sure they line up with the actual uh, board. Direction ground, that's E0, E1, don't need one there. Just need one here. See, I'm just lining up with the pin that says DIR. And you see these little micro adjustment screws here, like these little tiny, uh, they're technically like trim pots or trimmable resistors. Yeah, they're just like a potentiometer, like a volume knob type deal where they uh, control the, uh, the current or the amount of voltage that goes through a certain part of the uh, component. You need, I wouldn't recommend messing with them initially. You'll want to uh, basically tune them, kind of like you tune like an idle on a carburetor or something of that nature. So you would, uh, basically that'll adjust the amount of current that'll go through the motors. So we will leave that at stock for the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook the stepper motors back in. We're gonna test this out real quick. But before I can go ahead and get this thing fired up, gotta do a couple things first. Uh, gotta go ahead and route a new cable to the LCD so I can put it up here, as well as get this new fan attached, the 60 millimeter fan I have here. So just need to, I think I'm just gonna hot glue this one, this fan in here, should be okay. And the LCD, I just need to basically figure out how long I need to make the wiring loom and go ahead and cut the wire and we'll go ahead and prep it. Okay, it's 40 inches. Okay, so it looks like about 60 inches for our two wires here. Gonna go ahead and cut them. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the fan here. There is a little airflow indicator. You always wanna check that. I wanna go ahead and blow air onto the actual uh, heat sinks there. So my hot glue is drooling with anticipation, ready to go. So I'm just gonna fill up these holes and just booger them in there. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna let that dry, unplug our hot glue. I think I'm done with it for now, pretty sure. Now I need to go ahead and extend our existing cables here. I have these uh, 60 inch lengths cut out. So these cables are pretty easy. So you're gonna grip in this little chasm with your needle nose. There we go, easy as that. Then you one side comes out, that one kind of broken, so I may have to like glue it shut. Preferably you wanna get these connectors brand new if you're gonna do this. You wanna make sure that these match up here. So this one, I think it was on the red connector. Let's double check here real quick. So I wanna line it, this bad boy up here and strip it down. There we go, just ever so gingerly push it in. And I busted one side, so I'm just gonna hot glue this baby together. It's a low voltage connector, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go, okay. And I'll go a little bit more gently with this one. Okay, at least that side's good. Ripping the connector off, and you wanna make them identical. Just gonna stick a little bead there, clip off these ends a bit. That's one cable down, just need to do one more. Got the LCD mounted up here, just doing some basic wire organization. I'm gonna have the uh, wiring for the print head meet up back here. I'm actually printing out a little clip to uh, stick onto the frame for the actual tubing to attach to, so hoping that'll come out well, but that'll be about another hour or so, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this wiring. Okay, so as you can see, I have finished up a good bit of the wiring, got the LCD installed. I printed out this custom little bracket, as I said earlier here, I'm gonna link that in the description. Actually, instead of just linking that, I'm gonna go ahead and link this entire 3D printer project. I am calling it the PowerBot, as in the channel Power Playground, uh, there are some other names like Mbot's kind of closer to MakerBot. Of course, that'd be off my namesake. And then uh, 
Peabot. I don't know. It sounds like some sort of like uh, urination assistant type thing. So kind of opted out of that name uh, just for obvious reasons. I'm going to put the uh, link for this PowerBot design in the description. There are still a few things that I need to work out, like these uh, corner brackets, both both these parts of these assemblies. Yeah, there's some other little kinks as well, sort out. Another thing I want to modify is I want to make these uh, basically on some sort of rail for these stepper motors so you can adjust the uh, belt tension right here instead of at these points because it'll just be a lot easier that way but yeah that's pretty much going to be about it for tonight just ran out of time wiring is almost done i'm going to finish that in the next couple of days and then of course we'll uh in the next vlog we're going to go ahead and revamp the bed solution doing the uh anti-backlash nuts along with the bracers and of course the uh, leveling screws that really should be about it for assembly here i don't have any other parts to really throw out this thing but the rest will just be uh, electronics and programming and of course the uh, fan bracket as well, still have to take care of that. But other than that, we're pretty much finishing up here. And I just wanna thank you all for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, consider subscribing, and check out some other videos that are coming up on the screen here soon.